Good morning, y'all. Or good afternoon. By the time y'all see this, I'm not real sure. I think I'm supposed to have an intro. I say this every time. Crazy Alex from TikTok. Um, usually I'm over here doing prank calls, 6 p.m. Central Time to 8 p.m. But some people have asked for vlogs because I used to do vlogs. So Sky, you know, yesterday was for you, and I guess today too, you know. Um, y'all, I said that I was. Please don't tell me to put my seatbelt on. It's okay. It's okay. I said that I was gonna go live yesterday at six. Let me tell y'all. See what had happened was really I got so busy with those shirts, and I'm trying so hard to get my shirts out. And I knew that this rain was gonna come today, so I knew that I had to get ahead of myself yesterday. <laughs> Dang rain. Hopefully it slacks up this afternoon, and I can dye some because I have some that's ready to go with color but i didn't want to put the dye on them because y'all know i let them sit outside and then i was like oh if i let them sit outside the rain comes i do cover them but i was like oh if the rain gets on top of them like what's a girl to do and maybe it'll be ugly i don't know so i just didn't want to deal with the dye part of it today but i do have some ready to go i'm on my way to hobby lobby now to get a poster board um we don't have, like a cute poster board we don't have a cute one here um, and then I have to go to Sam's Club and I have to order my nephew's cupcakes for his birthday party because nobody else has a Sam's Club member card. Thank you, Majid. So I have to go there. I have to order his cupcakes. Ooh. Get really some more chicken sandwiches. This is my really a first, first official week, I guess, off or away from my actual job that I have because y'all know I quit. I quit. Um, I really just, the reason that I quit is really because you, it was like, I just, the more and more I went in there, like, I hate to work a job where you're not appreciated. Like, I hate it. And I know what type of work that I'll give you as long as you show appreciation. Like, I know what I'm capable of doing. And I wasn't getting that. Like, it stopped all of a sudden. I don't know what happened. I don't know if they just was like, well, now you have to do this. I don't know if they just ran out, but I did not like that. Did Mia tell me that I need to quit? Yeah. Is that why I quit? No. Um, I felt like maybe I was supposed to quit, but I wasn't listening to Mia, so maybe that's why God said, you know what? <laughs> bitch, I'm going to show you. But he probably didn't say bitch. But is it he might have. He might have because he created me, and that's, I say that word a lot, you know? He put that word in me. God did not put that word in you. Yes, he did a sense of humor if i have a sense of humor i feel like god has a sense of humor so all the time when i'm talking to cousin like don't mind me y'all don't mind me. but anyways i just got tired of being unappreciated you know what i'm saying like i go to work and i give you everything i got like appreciate me appreciate me but it was just getting worse and worse so i just went on left i wasn't happy i don't want to wake up every day miserable someplace that I fucking I freaking hate you know so I decided to start this small business on my own I want to give a huge shout out to crazy Bella boutique dot shop not only for being like a friend and a great person but for also pushing me to start this like making sure that you're gonna sell sandals like I'm going to find you sandals I'm going to find you tie-dye outfits like I want y'all to know like she is a huge support behind this and behind what I got going on and when it comes down to making sure that I'm going to be ready for this launch this girl is making sure the only thing she's not doing is tie dye and shirt and that's my part but other than that she's got me jewelry hats all kind of stuff that she goes to the vendor she calls me like do you like this do you like that and I say yeah I pay for it but she gets it for me and it's absolutely amazing that she takes the time out like I want to say that was last, it was before our trip, it was either Wednesday or Thursday, she called me and she was like, I'm going to Dallas, I think that's where she goes, Dallas, and I'm going shopping, and I'll call you, you know, show you everything, and she spent her whole day looking for stuff for me, like all over, next day I know she's at another store, another store, so I just want y'all to know, because a lot of people wonder, like, is she going to be upset? You know how the other person got upset. I just want y'all to know, like, she's pushing me harder than I'm pushing myself to get my ass up. Even though she wakes up late, you know, she called me like, "Girl, get up, baby." I've been up five hours ago. Like right now, I got up at six thirty, girl. 
she's still over there farting and snoring but she's a huge support behind what i do and i really appreciate that and um i really appreciate all y'all that are waiting for this thing to drop again it's supposed to storm today um i don't know how long but hopefully it stops because i want to drop tomorrow i don't know if i'll be live tonight maybe so if it's still storming definitely so i need to get some kind of schedule now that i'm doing this where i do my vlog i don't feel like i could probably vlog every single day but i don't know because i feel like y'all be wanting to know what i'm talking about like what sally's doing today you know some people just like to hear me i'm a vlog person meaning i like to watch people vlog like i don't care what the hell they're doing in a car eating damn chicken taking a well i probably don't want to see them taking a poop but i don't really care what they do i just like to watch vlogs usually when i'm working i just play it and i just let it go and go and go and go um a lot of people also have been asking me like with my diet like am i still on my diet i want y'all to know yes i just received my next month's box for optavia i okay so i haven't weighed in the last two mondays so last monday i was not about to weigh in y'all know i just spent my weekend in oklahoma and a bitch ate okay i ate i didn't think about optavia off the who uh-uh i ate i had fun i don't regret it the week before that my batteries were down in my scale i need to remember to get more batteries so i didn't weigh in then but yes i'm still trying to make sure i eat better it is hard after you go off the diet like i did this weekend it is hard like okay i'm gonna go back on i'm gonna do right you know it does get hard but um i'm gonna stick to it like i gotta get all this weight off of me just for like health purposes not because i'm unhappy i'm they always say like some people are unhappy when they're bigger size like i love myself i'm happy with whatever well, I probably would not be happy if I was like 600 pounds. No offense to anybody that may be 600 pounds, bitch, I still love you. I'm just saying I probably would be happy because I couldn't do things for myself that I would want to do. I couldn't get out and enjoy life. Um, but I wanted y'all to know that I'm still doing it. I know it looks like I'm steering away from it, but bitch, I had a vacation this weekend and I was not passing up no vacay. Also on my editing that I do, like I just do it on my phone on iMovies and I feel like the edits are so fast, like it breaks it down for you, like the changing in the scenery. And I feel like I need to get better at that and like actually put time into it. But y'all know I'm a no editing type of bitch. Like I don't like to edit. I don't want to put in, take out anything or put in fake stuff. So the only time I cut my camera off is like when I'm taking a pause to go do something or when I'm flipping it around to show y'all whatever I'm trying to show y'all. I just want to be me at all times. I don't ever want y'all to think that I'm any different because I know some people do, not all people, but some people think like, oh, they have this huge platform, like they're famous. Like in real life, I mean, I know this is real life, but in real person, like every day, every day, yeah, I get people that notice me, but I never want anybody to think that like I'm different and you wish that you had the life. Cause I've had many people say, I wish I had the life that you have. Like, right, <laughs> it's boring over here. You know what I'm saying? You need your own TV show. Bro, what y'all gonna do? Watch me eat, sleep, and shit? And probably hustle. Probably. Um, I never want y'all to think that I'm any different than y'all. I want y'all to remember, and I know some of y'all are like, bitch, I ain't say that you was. I know, I've talked to the ones that said it. I, um, I'm just like y'all. No different than y'all. My everyday, everyday is just like y'all. A bitch ain't walking around with security. I ain't got no bankroll. Somebody had made a statement, not to me, but to somebody made a statement to somebody that went back and told somebody that i know that came back and told me somebody asked if i was rich no bitch i'm not i'm not do i feel like i'm good for the rest of the year if i never get another dime yeah simply because i've had i have my i would have to pull my stocks i would have to pull my um investments in cryptocurrency but i could make it like this past couple years i've just you know how you're broke and then you never want to go back there not saying that it can't happen like boom you're broke again but i'm just saying like i've tried my hardest to make sure that i've learned every way possible to have some sort of income so i don't go back to being broke ever again because i like it where i'm at now comfortable not rich 
but I'm comfortable and I appreciate that and I thank God for that every single morning so if y'all didn't thank God today stop pause this video right now and thank him thank him for what thank him for everything girl thank him for life thank him for growth thank him for it all because that's what the hell I do every single day I try to remember say thank you y'all know I gotta get gas on what if I left my wallet at home I would be devastated I don't like to use my phone at the pump I don't think it I don't know if it matters when you're recording. Oh, well, I'll be back in a minute, y'all. Y'all know all I use my phone. Okay. Right, I'm done pumping gas. It needs to stop storming here. I'm a little upset that it's still storming. You know what? Just because some of y'all are panicking, just because some of y'all are panicking with the storm, here, here, gosh dang it. You know, I really like people that don't judge me. But you know, I like y'all too. But I'm just saying, guys, you let a bitch go without a seatbelt or two, you know? There, are you happy? I rode with my seatbelt all the way from Oklahoma. All the way back, all the way to. Them girls don't be playing. We had, um, I told y'all we had fun at Oklahoma. Okay, so I have to go get my nephew. Uh, y'all a little bumpy, y'all a little bumpy. I have a little thing under here, hoping that it gave it a little, a little, what's it called? Secure stability. That's a, that's a word I'm looking for, stability. But I don't think it's going to give y'all no, I don't think it's giving what it's supposed to be. Yay. Mr. 18, what's up? Can I get over stuff? Thank you Jumping out from them 18 wheelers. Mm -hmm. You ain't finna kill me. Look at this, all on my neck and stuff. Yeah. Can I put it under my arm like this? Y'all be okay if I wear it like that? Oh, okay. Okay. Good shot. I can't wear it the other way. It hurt my feelings. So, my next. Oh, we're going to get his cupcakes. He really better be glad I love him because, child. I'm not getting, I'm going to order so that we make sure that he has enough cupcakes. And his birthday is the 15th, it's the 16th, but we're having a party on the 15th. It's so funny that mine's March 16th, his is May the 16th. It's two months apart. And then my brother is August the 1st, and my nephew, his little brother is October the 1st. Two months apart. I think that's so weird. My sister's birthday is coming up uh, May the 2nd. Oh, y'all know Mother's Day is coming up for the people asking, did you get your mama something? Yes, I did. I'm not going to say it on here. Y'all want me to respond to my mama over there? I seen somebody say, tell Tequila, well, Grand Grand, I hope she treats you better than she treats her own mama. I think that was you, Janet. Was that you, Janet? I think so. She showed me why we were on vacation. I'm glad for Y'all, I cannot wait. Um, okay, so Jasona, J A A S O E N A, J, not J. But, okay, let me start over. Jasona, J A A S O E N A. Okay, on TikTok, I call him J. Absolutely amazing. I know when you go over there and you see him and he's so loud and so crazy. Some people they be like, mm -hmm, too much for me. But he's an amazing person. Like. When I say he's amazing, he's amazing. Is he like that? Like, does he still talk shit and make you laugh and stuff? Yes. But he also, I feel like, and I've only known him since we became friends on TikTok. I feel like if he has, if you have a spot for him and he cares for you, he's like a great person that wants to make sure that, you know, you know that he's there and he's checking on you. So he's absolutely amazing. So anybody that has ever seen him, I hope you don't see this because he's going to say, Bitch, I done told you about telling these people about me. Let them think what they want to think. So if you've ever seen him and you've thought to yourself, like, he's too much, I can't deal with Jay, I just want you to kind of look a little deeper. You know what I'm saying? Because he's he's absolutely amazing, I promise. So we, my point of this all is that we're planning on doing a show together. Um, I'm thinking Atlanta area. We have to like look for venues and stuff. I meant to reach out to Cody, cousin Cody, Cody Beavers, Firecracker, dot 85 on TikTok and see like, bro, tell me you know where some spots or something at. Something. 
but we may do a show together, um, which I'm kind of excited about. I just hope that they have a chair, because, like, I don't want to do stand-up, you know what I'm saying? I like to sit down. No stand-up over here. I'm trying to see what I'd be nervous. Like, maybe I should practice, get my, um, get my living room, like, full of chairs and put stuffed animals in there, cut out people's faces to put them on there. That would be a little awkward, but that could be practice, you know? I don't even really know what I would say, honestly, on a stand-up. Like, what do you say on stand-up? I feel like with y'all, upstairs, upstairs or whatever, but I get up there and a motherfucker don't laugh, I'm ready to blow the whole damn house up or whatever I'm in, the club, building, whatever. Y'all, this business that I'm starting with the tie-dye, I just... I know, I keep on saying I hope, I know it's gonna be absolutely amazing. And this launch is just gonna be small and then we're gonna grow bigger and bigger. Because in all honesty, I want this to be big and I want, not only am I get myself out of work, not by this, because I could actually pay my bills and stuff with my YouTube and my TikTok, but, and my investments, but I wanna be able to get Billy out of work because a lot of us forget to think about you know the person where we like a man is so strong and they got it and it's gonna be okay but no he's a welder and i absolutely like in the winter time or in the springtime like today i'm fine i'm not worried about him it's cool outside it's raining you good bro but when we start getting into that hot ass weather and he's a welder there's no air in the building there's not a lot of good ventilation he gets really sick in the summertime like heat exhaustion for like weeks at a time where it looks like he's about to die. I really, really, really need him out of there in the summer. Okay, but not out of there just so you can sit on your ass and not pay no bills, bro. Uh-uh, you gonna be out of that dying church. You gonna work for Big Mama now. Mm-hmm, gonna work for Big Mama, sir. So, I just wanna get him out of there. Of course, him, he's like, oh, I don't know about that. I mean, he would, I know he would help me and he would, you know, help do shirts or whatever, but I'm just saying, he's not sure like, is this something we can invest in that's going to last us? But I really want him out of there. Maybe, maybe he can find something that he wants to do. You know, he's getting a shop built. So, he can always go over there and work on vehicles or something. You know, Billy got hands like that. Don't let him fool you. He can work on vehicles. All right, y'all. I'm going to get into a heavier part of traffic now on the interstate. So... I guess I'll talk to y'all when I get closer. I need me some Dunkin' Donuts. But you just said you was gonna do Optavia in 100%. Okay, but today I'm gonna do Dunkin', all right? <laughs> okay? Okay, Crystal, if you're watching. Today I'm doing Dunkin', bitch. Bye, y'all be right back. I'm out of that traffic and it looks like the storm is down. Maybe? Fingers crossed. Y'all got y'all finger crossed? Fingers crossed for me. Because the storm doesn't be the storm today. Because when I get back home, this drive for me is about 45 minutes to go to the town that I need to go to. Excuse me, y'all. <laughs> because we don't have a Hobby Lobby or anything close. I need to go to Hobby Lobby. We don't have a Sam's at all. And I need to get to Sam's. But anyways, I hope this rain does go away. Hopefully, fingers crossed. We're getting closer to a coffee shop. So excited about coffee. I need it in my life. Like every time I come up here, I have to make sure, and I'm going up here a lot. I make sure that I t get my Dunkin' before I get my Starbucks. Okay? We have a Starbucks at home, but I can pass that and be like, oh, whatever. Dunkin', though, just I think it's because the prices, because it's so cheap. I, and I don't come up here all the time. So just FYI. No. This is not on the Optavia meal plan unless you get your coffee and you mix it with your um, protein shake. Okay? Say so why? Because there's somebody back there wondering. All right. But I have lost a lot of weight on the um, Optavia. I haven't weighed in two weeks though, so I really don't even know where I'm at right now. Uh, make sure I get some batteries. Let me make sure I get some batteries. Batteries. Oh Lord, it looks like we're about to be in a traffic jam. You know when it rains in Mississippi, y'all, people can't drive. People don't know how to drive when it rains in Mississippi. So 
about to drop ice water. Boom. I should have got off too, y'all. But now I'm stuck in traffic. Stuck in. It don't look like I'm stuck, but you about to see in just a second. It's probably a wreck. Did I just say that? I think I did. Oh, maybe I'm not stuck in traffic. It looks like it's moving. There's a lot of brake lights, though. It always gets, like, cluttered back there, but it wasn't. So, that's why I got back on here. And now, the clutter has moved up to here. And sometimes, do y'all ever just wish that everybody would stay at home so y'all could go do what you got to do? And then, when you get back home, that's selfish to think, huh? But I do all the time. Like, bro. Keep on, y'all. I still got my seatbelt on, y'all. Boom. Karen Jr. Karen be caring for you. She cares. I really thought that I was about to stop. Y'all see the traffic getting thick behind me? You can tell that I live in a town where no damn body knows where nobody is at. Everybody knows everybody. But then you get up this way, um, which is close to Memphis, Tennessee. I don't know if a lot of people that watch me may not know where I'm at in Mississippi, but I'm really close to Memphis, Tennessee. I know everybody know what Memphis, Tennessee is. Y'all know it was Presley, don't you? Have y'all ever went to Graceland? Like, I have never been, like, actually been in there. And I don't think I've ever wanted to go just for the simple fact that you can drive by and see everything. Like, it's a little dinkity rinkity gate. Like, of course, I guess they take you in the house. You can't see in the house. But what I see from, like, the outside, like, the airplane and stuff, I'm just like, bro, I don't want to go in there. It's never like packed. I think the most people that I've ever seen there at one time was probably like six, five, or six. I've never seen like huge lines and groups ever. So I don't know. Maybe it's a cool experience for some people, especially people that like loved Elvis because my cousin's uh, grandma, um, it was like a Marian family because you're going to be like, that was your cousin. That was your grandma. No. Okay, so on his dad's side, she was like in love with Elvis. Like when I say in love with Elvis, I remember her whole room. She passed away now. I remember her entire room was full of Elvis Presley and cats. Like cat stuff. Because she loved cats. Outside, at one time, they probably had like 30 cats. It was so many. But she used to have Elvis Presley stuff. Uh, I remember her having like this slot machine thing in her room we used to play with. Like, it wasn't like a, a casino one, I guess, but it was one that you could actually put money in and you could like spin, like pull the handle and be like, ding, ding, ding. if you win, it actually drop out more quarters. But if you didn't win, it actually take your quarters, like a real casino. But it was like a heavy duty one like they have. I think it was like, a countertop one like plastic or something I think I don't remember maybe I'm wrong but it wasn't like you know what the hell I'm trying to say I'm not gonna repeat myself again okay so now we're stopped in traffic now we're stopped in traffic it may be a wreck because there's a car on that side of the road um, I'm on the interstate and they're just chilling or they could have car trouble I guess maybe there's a lot of traffic coming up through here. It's seven, oh, okay. It's, it's not seven. It's eight something. My clock is behind. I was about to say, no wonder. But I guess people are still coming into work. Because there's a lot behind me. There's a lot ahead of me. Maybe I came at the wrong time. Bitch, you should have stayed in bed. But now, you up trying to run somewhere in the Hobby Lobby. And they don't open until nine. But I can go to Sam's Club. What time they open? You don't know either? I don't know either. They should be up. Well, I'm going to run and get me some um, coffee anyway. So, that'll take a second. Like I said, traffic this way is always busy. So, when you're trying to get coffee, bitch, you're going to be the whole Y'all remember on my last vlog how long it took me to get some damn coffee? And then, when I get off here to get my coffee, which is South Haven area, I still have to drive almost all of Branch. So, that's another 20-minute drive or so. I woke up today and chose to drive. Y'all don't forget that we launched that. So if you didn't see the video where we launched for Crazy Bella's sportswear, like if you have kids that are into basketball, football, soccer, volleyball, softball, baseball, any balls, 
go over there crazy bella boutique shop order you a shirt y'all know how y'all like to get those shirts made that say hunter mama hannah's tt you can get it but this time it has the sleeves or if you get a if you get a tank top it's on the back but it has either softballs all the way everywhere or footballs or basketballs or baseball whatever you're looking for it's got it so y'all go over there don't forget to shop her crazy bella with the c not a k crazy bella booty dot shop if you're looking for those shirts get over there she should have your size she should now i ain't gonna promise you because y'all know sometimes that stuff says that really really fast but for now i know she has a lot of shirts let's just pray it's your size and pam i know you're probably gonna watch this if you really need the basketball shirt that i showed out showed off i i don't yeah, say it was a 3x i think so it was a three or two but if you really need that basketball shirt it's blue let me know because i know you said that she didn't have your size in the basketball or whatever you needed so just let me know girl you know what i'm saying i might help you out so a girl might help you out okay i guess i'm gonna get off the phone because it's starting to storm again y'all i might talk to y'all later this might be the end of hell i don't know well, I came a little too early. I got like 15 minutes before they open. I guess it's good and bad. Bad because I'm still waiting good because I'm gonna be one of the first people in there. Um, I just needed poster boards, like those really nice ones that they have in here to take my pictures on, um, to make it look cute or whatever. Because, yeah, I want y'all to have a cute background. I don't want to look crazy. I wonder what I'll, I'll be up in Hobby Lobby forever, though. Like, I love Hobby Lobby. One of my favorite stores. A lot of my stuff in my house on my walls came from here. And a whole, whole lot of it came from Kirkland. And if you don't, if, like, people say I don't shop at Kirkland's because they're so expensive. Like, bro, they have so many good deals all the time. Like, I don't think anything from my house that is from Kirkland's or Hobby Lobby was over $25. Like I have this huge, um, I think y'all have seen that huge family sign in my living room, like with the pictures around it. I got that from Kirkland's for like $25. I have a huge um, sign in my hallway that says blessed. And that was $25 from Kirkland's. So I got a lot of stuff from Kirkland's. Hobby Lobby have really good deals. Some people, I used to hate Hobby Lobby. Like when I first came in here, I was like, bro, this shit expensive. And then I had to realize that everything had like a percent off, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes it's still a little, but it's cute. Um, those welcome signs, they could bring them down to like $19.99. They'd be like $59.99, then they take 50% off. So it'll still be 30 bucks, but there's a store y'all don't have this store everywhere but there's a store about 30 minutes from where i'm at now it's called house to home it's in memphis like memphis mississippi line well i guess it would be mississippi because it's on this side of state line instead of that side so then it would be considered on 51 instead of elvis presley but it's where it meets if you're familiar with the area but there's a little bitty building right there called house to home absolutely amazing and then in the back like once you go through the front once you get to the back door you can go out the back door walk under the little cover and then you go into this other huge building and they have rugs every freaking rug you can think of like we up here pay like 150 200 for the rug that we can go over there and get out the back warehouse for like 40 dollars. so if you're close to the area of memphis north mississippi look up house to home if you ever want to go shopping for some really good cheap stuff um they even have like the little letters you know the big letters where you have people hang on their doors for their last name or whatever you do have to decorate it yourself but they're only like seven dollars seven dollars we out here pay like fifty dollars sixty dollars for a mother freaking letter for our door um i don't know well you wouldn't know what this story is but if you're close to my area and you remember don surplus like back way back in the gap that's exactly what house to home reminds me of they have really good stuff they have a nfl section like you can go in there and get your football team they have decor they have um all of the things you need to make those reefs so if you're into making reefs or 
um, ornaments for your Christmas tree. You know, when that time comes, I have everything you can think of. It's a it's a craft decor store. I have to go in there one day and I have to like record it and show y'all because it's really neat. It's one of my favorite stores. And those signs, what made me start talking about it is the signs at Hobby Lobby, the welcome signs are $59.99, but usually you can catch them like 50% off. So they're $29.99. I think that's right. But down at House to Home, they have welcome signs that are bigger than the ones they have here. And they're only $19.99. And then they have the one that I want to say them things are like, they're taller than me. I'm 5'8". And then they're wider than the normal size. And they're only $19.99. Uh, they're not wood though. It's like a canvas type. But it's really sturdy. I love it. It's so cute. So if you're in the area, go to that store. House to Home. It's on Highway 51. It's right there where State Line 51 and... um. It was Presley all running to that intersection. It's a little blue building sitting on the corner. Absolutely amazing. They need to hurry up and unlock this door, child. Y'all ain't ready for me to come in yet? I can fly like I work there, too. Oh, I should let us in. I feel like this is going to be a long vlog because I'm talking to y'all now. It's probably going to be like 30 minutes long. Which is fine for y'all, I guess. I gotta start vlogging more. You gotta start vlogging your life more. I don't want to get into doing pranks and stuff, though, y'all. I don't know. I just... I feel like those couples that do, like, pranks... I just feel like a lot of times it's, like, fake. You know, like, come on now. They know that's a prank. Like, you would never do something like that. So, I don't know about that one. I got some labels. I need to go get the big pack, but I do have some labels for shipping. But I got to stop at an office depot somewhere. All of ours are going out of business, though. All of ours are going out of business. Are y'all going out of business? Office depot. I wonder if the... I don't know where the one is up here. I have to Google it. But, like, ours at home, out of business. And then I told somebody else, and they was like... They was like, um... Shoot. They said it must be. I think that was John. I told Brandy who when he was like, "That must be every office depot because theirs is going out of business." <sighs> I guess I need to get off here, and save some time for when I go in there. I got like ten minutes left, I think. So I'll be back, and I'll show y'all my poster boards as I go through. Hey so I went in Hobby Lobby. I didn't record. I went in there to find me poster board for a backdrop, but um. The poster board, I couldn't find a poster board that had designs on it. And then I found a bulletin board and bulletin paper. But, of course, it was, like, big. I was going to have to find somewhere to store it. So, I just walked around, walked around, walked around, thinking of other things. And I ran across the fabric department. So, I bought fabric as my background. I really like this one. It's so soft. But I feel like it's going to shed. Y'all see that? So, I got that piece. As one background, which I really, 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 really... Oh, yeah, this going to shed too much, baby. I'm going to take you back. Oh, I got y'all all in the way. And then I got this one. Which I like the one where it just looks like a... Kind of like a wooden background. This one right here is really going to be too much shed. I wish I would have paid attention. I feel like I got a whole dog in my house. All right, y'all, let me run in Sam's Club if I can knock some of this stuff off of me, and I'll be back. That fabric is not going to work, the white one. Let me show you why. I had to stop and show y'all what I look like in Sam's. It looks like I've been laying like I'm the cat lady or something. I don't want to be the cat lady. I'm too young for this. Okay. Like, uh, Look at all that. Yeah, we ain't using that one. Oh, I just had to show you how I look crazy. Now let me shop. Yeah, that fabric really upset me. Got me looking like the cat lady up in Sam's Club. It's all over my truck. Billy gonna swear it down. It's a dog been in here. He ain't gonna be able to use this mother freaker. Let me take that jump back. It's horrible. Horrible. 
I went in to get Billy's chicken sandwiches. He loves these Sam's Club chicken sandwiches. And then I went in to get my nephew's, um, what is it called? Cupcakes. But the little lady that was working at the back in the cupcake department, she's not very friendly. Like, she didn't, she wasn't like say anything rude, but she didn't say anything at all. She just looked, you know. And then I was trying to see if they had the paper to fill out for the cupcakes, but they didn't. They only had the cake, the tear cup cakes. And of course, she wasn't talking to me this morning. I don't know. Maybe she know me. Maybe I heard her. I don't know what happened. Obviously, she had like a slap with her. So I, told, I called my sister. I was like, look, these, some of my moms didn't even talk to me. I don't know what's going on, but get your peep out of so I guess she's gonna come back up here later and try to, or she'll call. I don't know if you can call and you can schedule um, to pick up cupcakes or not. But I tried, sister. You know this stuff. I need a lint roller real bad now. Oh, these are Billy's favorite. These are the chicken sandwiches. Boom! He will eat the mess out them things, y'all. Even exaggerate, but I guess I'm gonna go on and get home. Hopefully, it does not rain. I need to check the weather and see if it's raining more today because I need to get some more shirts done. I need to take pictures of the shirts. I need to do it all, honey. And I can't do it if it's raining. Yeah, I see how traffic our traffic is horrible up this way. That's why I would never work like move out of states at like Texas and stuff. Like no, back in my town, you just jump over, ain't nobody coming. You can guess by the time of the day if somebody's gonna be there or not. You don't even really gotta look. This is why I don't like coming. And this is why I never go to New York. People always say go to New York. Like seriously, New York would give me so much anxiety, y'all. One, all that damn traffic. And for two, you don't know where you're at any damn ways. And for three, y'all got, I think y'all have them roads. We don't have the roads that say one way. Like, you can only go this way. Like, y'all, uh-uh. No, that's three. And for four, there's too many people. It's too people outside. Okay? No, we can't do that either. Too many people's outside. I just, Billy wants to go to New York. Me, I'm just like, oh, oh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. So I guess I'm finna head on back to the hills. Are they kissing? Oh no. I thought they were making out by Dunkin' Donuts. I was like, bro, now you're making me don't even want a damn donut. I mean, a coffee. <sighs> Give me a coffee on the way home. Coffee on the way home, smoking on cigarettes. Smoking on cigarettes. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? How y'all doing? Y'all thought I wasn't talking to nobody. Hmm. Alright, y'all. Let me order my coffee and maybe I'll get through. Because I gotta have one on the way home, you know. And then I'll talk to y'all later. I'll talk to y'all when I get home. Hey, sir. Hey, big fella. It's okay, I can call him B because I'm B. Okay? I'm finally, finally, like five minutes from my house. Um, I had to stop off. I, I was like, you know what? Went to Office Depot, got my labels, um, got copy and paper, everything I need. Um, and then on my way home, I was like, all right, I got everything. And then I started thinking, oops, sorry, y'all, a little bumpy. And then I started thinking about my laptop. It's so slow, it's old. I was like, oh, invest in yourself, get your laptop. So I had to stop off at Walmart. I picked up a laptop. I got one of the HP Stream something. It was like 234 with tags, not bad. So I had to go get that. I guess I'm gonna show y'all. Do y'all want me to give you like a haul when I get home? Have I ever gave y'all a haul? I think people like hauls. Cause I be watching hauls. I be watching food stamp hauls. <laughs> Wishing I had some food stamps. I find me a YouTuber that does like the food stamp. Um, well, this one girl named Liz, Liv, she used to do it all the time, but she's not on food stamps anymore. 
But when she was on food stamps in the beginning, she used to do it. I'd be like, wow, like they got a whole shit ton of shit, you know, on their food stamps. I wish I had food stamps. But anyways, I'll give you a haul when I get to the house, y'all. I just want to, I act like, I act like y'all was sitting here waiting on me. Just want to let you know what was taking so long. Like, girl, it don't even feel like it the minute. Oh, and it's not raining. Y'all see that? Y'all see? No rain. No rain. Means that I think I'm going to be able to die when I get home not literally die but you know like die clothes not die die not breathe and die like die clothes so i do y'all haul when i get to the house and yeah i guess that's it there's a lot anybody want to come help me get this stuff out because you know when you go to sam's club they don't give you no bags so you ain't got no handles to hold when you're going in the house All that money we spend at Sam's, a bitch can at least get some bags. You can't go up in there and spend less than a hundred, I know. On four items, five items, whatever it is. But anyways, y'all, I'm almost at home. I just wanted to let y'all know that that what was taking. That's what was taking so long. But then when I started talking, I'm like, they don't even know how long you took because it automatically switches over to the next scene, Alex. Oh well. <laughs> I'm on my way home. So I went to Hobby Lobby, Sam's Club, Dunkin' Donuts, Office Depot, and Walmart. Walmart on my way home. Like, let me pull up here and get me a laptop. I called Brandy. I was like, hey, is it better to use a laptop or your tablet? Because I bought me an iPad a couple weeks back. Well, a couple months now. But she was like, and my HP computer is so slow. I will really, if I can figure out how to wipe it clean, of like all my personal information i promise like i'll donate it to one of y'all because i know there's a lot of parents that have their kids that are in um like virtual or whatever and they need a lot of people needed a computer like if i can delete my files up there and maybe you can figure out how to make it run faster i'd be more than willing to send it to you guys like free no charge it works it's just too slow for me right now and i've tried to clean it and i've googled and i've watched youtube videos and a bit still i ain't that tech savvy but if you are i'll send it to y'all one of y'all if somebody really needs it anyways i'll see y'all when i get in the house and show y'all what i got the lighting is way off in here but i'm gonna show you what we got the we have the walton roll sushi and then we have the chicken alfredo that was so delicious uh we have that. I was supposed to cook it when the ladies came, but I didn't. We got Billy's chicken sandwiches. Okay. We got the fabric that I showed y'all in the truck. We have these. I don't even know what they call. We got them, girl. We got them. Mm -hmm. Whatever y'all call, we got them. I got another scale just because I don't like the other one that I got. So I went out Office Depot and then I picked up a better scale. <sighs> this shit getting too expensive for me. Here is the laptop that I picked up. So hopefully it works better than my old laptop. This is the one I was just showing you know, or telling y'all about. I showed y'all the fabric already. I didn't get much, but it feels like I did when you go in Sam. Here's the labels that I got. Two labels per sheet. So there's 500 labels in there. Boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. And then I got two packs of copying paper because you could get one pack for nine or two packs for 12. Not even sure I need copying paper. And then I got two of these thingy majig bobs right here. And that's about it for the trip for today. That's it. That's all. I got to get to work, y'all. My top of my refrigerator got so much. I can clean that stuff off, y'all. Guaranteed Billy's going to put all that shit right back up there. So, um, I gotta get to work. I guess I'll end my vlog here since I got on my nightgown already. Um, do me some work around this house. Well, put all this food up first. Then do me some work around the house. I'm so excited for the launch tomorrow. Nervous at the same time because I don't want to disappoint nobody. Alright, y'all. My lighting's horrible, so. Let's get off here. Bye, y'all. Thank y'all for watching me. And if you love these vlogs, just tell me you love them, okay? I'm going to have to start giving y'all more. Bye, y'all. <laughs>